good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just finished the live show. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was so much fun. It was nice to like chat with you guys. It was kind of long. We it were was there an for an hour and a half. Yeah, we've been trying to do them like an hour so that the rewatchability of them is a little bit easier. Yeah. But we just were having fun chatting with you guys. Today, first we need to eat some lunch. Yeah. Because we didn't eat lunch before the live show. Mm -hmm. So we're both very hungry. But after that, we are going to attempt to make something that everybody has been making yeah. during this quarantine. Uh -huh. And that's banana bread. Yes, yeah, so I found a recipe on Sally's Baking Addiction. Oh, Sally. She's, listen, she has the best recipes. We used her recipe to make the cupcakes, cupcakes and the um, icing, the butter, the chocolate buttercream frosting. Delicious, so good. Yeah. Like groundbreaking. Phenomenal. <laughs> it was so Never good. been done before. <laughs> so delicious. Um, which, by the way, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande, I guess, came out with a song together. I, I saw that, but I didn't yeah. see what it was. Something about rain. I haven't listened to it yet. Also, I think Carly Rae Jepsen came out with a new song. I think it's her B-side. It's called Dedicated B-side? Yeah. So that's exciting. Just lots of exciting stuff. Harry Styles came out with a video for Watermelon Sugar. All kinds of excitement Jackson happening. Jackson threw one of his toys on the ground just now. Just so many things happening. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Sally, she has a recipe for Nutella banana bread. We don't have everything that she puts in this banana bread, so we're gonna try- What are we missing? Well, she puts a Nutella swirl on the top, but she also puts in chocolate chips- Oh, okay. And Reese's peanut butter cups. I know, it sounds so good, but we don't have chocolate chips and we don't have peanut butter cups. Wow. But we do have the Nutella. Yeah. So we can make the just regular banana bread, which also sounds delicious, and then do the swirl of the Nutella. I'm interested to see how that does because Nutella has so much oil in it, mm -hmm. that it makes, it like changes how things bake. Well, I don't think you put in a whole lot. Yeah, You know, okay. like it's just enough just to- Just a little bit. Yeah, like you know those recipes where you would put like a, like chocolate stripes and then you would do that thing with the knife? Yeah. It's like that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see how it's gonna turn out. That's gonna be a little bit later on, but for right now, we did a video um, where we did a Epcot like food festival at home and we had these really delicious pot stickers. They were so good that we bought them again. And well, sort of. Well, the ones that we had during the Epcot thing were tofu. Oh, and these are chicken. Yeah. They're really good though. They are good. I think that the tofu ones were better though. I know, I do too. Which is weird. I thought they were so good. We can't find them anymore. Right. Um, so, are you eating your carrot? <laughs> he goes, no. So we're gonna make those for lunch and a salad, and then, yeah, that's how we're gonna start our day. Let's do it. Yeah. Here's the salad that we're having. It is from Taylor Farms Buffalo Ranch Chopped Kit. It's so good. I love chopped salads because they're so nice. You can eat them with a spoon. Well, but this one is especially delicious. This dressing, it's a buffalo ranch dressing. I love it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, we've talked about the chopped salads before, but it's just something that like, if you see it and you like buffalo stuff, try it. And I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he does that. He goes, hey. Eh. <laughs> Another thing we're having for lunch today, this doesn't really go together, but we're having the pot stickers. It's just, we're just kind of like eating what we have. Yeah. So these are the things that we have. That's quarantine, baby. Yeah. True. There it is. We are cooking up our pot stickers now. Mm -hmm. Why do they call them pot stickers? Because they stick to the pot? They stuck to the pan. Those darn pot stickers. They look delicious. I added some toasted sesame seeds to the sauce that came with it. Ooh. So maybe that'll be like a little more gourmet. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right, so let's have some pot stickers, and then lunch is over. Oh, it is a momentous occasion. We are getting ready to go out of the house and go drop some stuff off at Goodwill and drop some bags off at Publix for recycling. So the Goodwill stuff is like contactless. You just literally drop it off and then somebody comes out and picks it up. Yeah. And the bag stuff, we're just tossing it in the trash can outside. Well, but... I'm gonna sanitize afterwards. Oh yeah, we bring like our sanitizer stuff with us, but it's just so nice to be able to get out of the house yeah. and like do, so I haven't really been out of the house. Right. You know, like I've been outside in the neighborhood and I've been outside in the yard and stuff, but I think that it's just, I don't know, this will be really nice. Yeah, and I think that we, we have some stuff to donate like old like bed sheets and like some dog stuff and just things that I think other people could use that we can't really use right now. So I think yeah. that'll feel good too, um, but I'm just, Excited. All right, so we're back. 
how do you feel? Like, I know we didn't show you guys us out and about, but we did, we went and we drove, it was like a well, quick we thing. Yeah, we were, it was just us in the car, like driving to the Goodwill and then driving back and then driving to Publix to drop off the uh, the stuff and then driving back. So it yeah. wasn't, the, the one thing I will say is that we went to a Publix near the Goodwill that isn't our everyday, or our like normal Publix. Right. And less people were wearing masks than at our normal Publix. And when we say, uh, like we still haven't been going out to Publix to get our groceries. No, we've just we've been, still been dropping off our, our bags. Our like recyclable stuff. Because yeah. our our recycle guys that come and like pick up our recycling, they don't take plastic bags. They'll take like plastic containers. Yeah, they don't take plastic bags or styrofoam. Yeah, so we dropped that stuff off because we had been just it's just sitting in the garage and we were trying to clean up the garage. So they have a thing outside of Publix where you can drop those things off in a, like a big trash can, yeah. and. So we didn't go inside the store, but you can see people going into the store and at our regular Publix, everybody had a mask on, everybody was social distancing, but at this other one, they weren't. Yeah. And it's weird. And uh, like, admittedly, the last time that we went to a Publix, it was a weekday, today's a Saturday. Does that matter? It does matter. Because like, more people go to the grocery store on Saturday, like people that are still working right now. Right. Are still gonna go to the grocery store on Saturday rather than Thursday. I don't know, I guess because of the area that we live in, I don't feel like everybody works a nine to five Monday through Friday job. Right. Like we're so close to the parks that I feel like people, but I guess people aren't working at the parks right now. Right. Well, maybe because people at like Disney Springs and people at City Walk are working. Right. I don't know. So I just feel like it's not a general, like everybody works Monday through Friday here. Right. So. I don't know, I don't but know. there still is, but there still is at the grocery I store. I thought you were smelling your armpit. No, no, sorry, an itchy nose. But there still is that that phenomenon at the grocery store where weekends are busier, and this yeah, is yeah, it is yeah. a holiday weekend, so people yeah. are probably like getting barbecue and stuff. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> we have good. one hot dog left. If you like it. We only have one. Yeah. Oh what the heck? How many? Hot, when have you been eating hot dogs? I've been having hot dogs and eggs for breakfast. Oh, you have? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it was good for me. Well. But. Anyway, so how did you like going? Let's quarantine, <laughs> baby. <laughs> how did you like going out and about? Like you, this is like your your time to shine. You <laughs> went it? out and like saw the sunshine. It was nice being out, like out of the house. Even though I was just in the car, like I literally was just sitting in the car. Yeah. It was still nice to be like change of scenery. You know, I think that I am getting a little bit of cabin fever just like being in the house so much. Yeah, when I went to Disney Springs that day, like just being outside in the sun for an hour, I came back to the house and I was like, Mwah! Recharged. Like, yeah. Well, and that's something that I want to do is I would like to, we've been trying to create a space outside in the back like patio area. That's just like a space for us to be outside and enjoy the like outdoors, but it's so hot right now. Yeah. Like we had a few days of cool weather, which was great. And now it's literally like 90 degrees. Yeah, it's 90 degrees outside right now. It's just so hot. So it's tough. But I think what we should do this weekend, because we're going to be celebrating Memorial Day, right? Memorial Day? Yeah. Um, I want to do maybe like a little pool party. Okay. A little fun in the sun. You know what else I want to do? What? I want to go to a nature park. Yes, that's something that you guys have been asking us to do. And now that they're open again, because for a while they were all closed, so we couldn't get into them. We could see them, we could see the sign, yeah. but we couldn't get inside. So now that we can actually go into them, I think we're going to do that. Heck yeah. And I think that'll be an easy way to be outside, in the fresh air, we can socially distance. You know, we'll still have our masks and stuff if we need them, which I think we will need them. But if there's nobody else around, you don't need masks. Okay. Um, but yeah, but we'll still have all of the safety precautions, you know, that we can, I don't know. It'll just be an easy way to go outside in a safe way Yeah. and be outside Right. and enjoy Florida. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. What if it's like crazy busy there and then we're like, nope. Well, there's a bunch of parks around us, so maybe yeah. we can try some different areas, right. but, and that'll just be going back to the original Tim Tracker like channel. Oh. Uh, speaking of, uh, this has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, but I thought of it. Okay. Uh, breaking news. Okay. Uh, Fun Spot opened yesterday. Oh, yeah? Or, yeah, I think it was yesterday. But after reading some of the reports coming out of there, they are not requiring masks, but they are wiping down everything okay. in between rides. So, like, if you go on, uh, White Lightning. Yeah. They wipe down all the seats, all the arm, like pull down bars, all of the that's cubbies. The, is that the one where you're hanging from the truck? No, no, that's called Freedom Flyer. 
Oh, it is? Okay. White Lightning is the other wooden coaster. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's the one that's across from Universal. Gotcha, okay. So, uh, they wiped down all of the seats, all of the pull-down bars, all of the cubbies where you put your stuff, and they also have social distancing markings in the line. So let me ask you this, because here's something that I'm kind of curious is, when we were reading our um, like our cleaning products, right? It was we have this stuff that is like a virusol, so it kills viruses. Yeah. But you have to let it sit on a surface right. for like seven minutes or something for it to kill everything that's on that surface. Right. Are they using products that they have to let sit? Probably, but also surfactants like soaps, uh -huh. like cleaning things. If you are vigorously rubbing them, it does break apart the virus. Okay. So when you're cleaning a large surface, like we would do with our countertops with that virus side, yeah. you have to just like let it sit rather than scrubbing the entire countertop. Yeah. But if you're scrubbing things, then it, it may not do as good as leaving it to sit, but like it does better than, it yeah. I don't know. There's just so much, there's just so many factors. Also the CDC said that the virus is less likely to be transmitted through touching stuff. And it's more likely to be contracted like face to face talking, right. sneezing breathing okay. that sort of stuff that's why masks are so important i just think it's i don't know it's just a lot there's a lot a lot of information out there it really is yeah let's bake some banana bread yes here it is this is everything that we need well okay so this isn't everything that we need we're going to be omitting some things and adding some things based on what we have in our pantry but we're going to use nutella walnuts flour creamy peanut butter vegetable oil brown sugar regular granulated sugar ripe bananas, an egg, and some baking powder. And the things that we're leaving out because we don't have them are baking soda. So we did find a, like a little hack, I guess, on the internet that you can use three times the amount of baking powder instead of baking soda. So if you need one teaspoon of baking soda, if that's what the recipe calls for, you can use three teaspoons of baking powder. And so far it's worked for us. But I'm gonna try to find baking soda. Yeah. The next grocery list. <laughs> we just haven't been able to find anything except for like 10 pounds of baking soda and we don't need that much. And then we are leaving out the Reese's cups, which I'm sad to say we're leaving those out because that sounds delicious. And we are also leaving out the chocolate chips because we don't have those things. So. Dang. I know, but we do have Nutella and we are going to be adding in walnuts too to make it just a little bit more exciting. Yeah. So let's do it. So right now we're adding in the dry ingredients where this is the all purpose flour. I'm not going to show you guys like every single step of what we're doing, but I will link the recipe down below. So if you guys want to try to make this at home, you can, I recommend checking out Sally's baking addiction website just in general, because everything that we've made from her website has been so delicious. And hopefully this banana bread will be just as delicious. We did complain the last time about Sally's website. Though. Oh yeah. It's just well, that we were a little confused. I was not reading it right. I'm sorry, but she, it was cause she had like this very long intro and it took a while to get to the actual recipe. And but why is that? other than that, I don't know. I blogs do this, but other than that, everything has been really great. So I highly recommend checking out her website just for other baking stuff too. Yeah, hopefully this recipe will be just as delicious and we'll tell you at the end if we liked it or not. I think it's gonna be good. I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah. A santa sana squash banana. Oh yeah, so I've already squashed up my three bananas. They're pretty ripe. I feel like they could be a little bit riper. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because they get sweeter when they're riper, right? They smell super sweet. Like this smells very sweet. And then we're gonna add in our creamy peanut butter, our oil, and our sugars. Yeah. And then I think that's it for right now. And your egg. Egg. That's what it <laughs> So the last time we had to cook with peanut butter and portion it out in like a one of these guys, you guys gave us so many good ideas about like how to do sticky stuff like this. And I didn't use it because this peanut butter is natural. So what? So it'll just pop right out. Will it? I mean, oh. for the most part. <laughs> for the most part, it pops right out. So that's pretty okay. Yeah. Like... Almost got all, almost yeah, yeah. all of it. Um, I still need one more of those. Though. That was only a quarter cup. Oh shoot! We're supposed really? to do a half cup. Yeah, yeah, all I got right, you. Right. No worries. <laughs> uh oh, somebody woke up from their nappies. <gasps> this baby did. Hey, hey, are you awake? Did you have a good nap? Oh, yeah. I love that mommy. See, I love that mommy so much. Me too. He's going to make an appearance and help us make some banana bread. Yeah. But you can't eat it. Sorry, nope. buddy. You get to eat sweet potatoes. <laughs> I hope you love them. Did you say hi to everyone? 
Hi. Oh, he's so shy all of a sudden. I know. Oh. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hi, little chubby cheek guy. You doing good? What do you think, idiot mommy kiss? Bye. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. You got mommy's hair? Yes, he always has mommy's hair and it hurts. <laughs> so we've added in our sugars. We're adding in our oil. And so this is three bananas, a half a cup of peanut butter, third of a cup of sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar, one egg, and quarter cup of oil. Quarter cup of oil. Now we gotta beat it all together. So our beater thing, this is literally just from like a... Uh... That's a Proctor Select. Yeah. It's like from like a cheapy one. It's not like the it's it's good quality. It's just not the best quality. Cost so us fourteen dollars. I feel like it's on its last leg. So I think we need to get one of those like, you know, the kind that are like fancy, not fancy, but just the kind the that stand are, mixer. Yeah, that are made for a lot of baking. Yeah. Because this guy isn't isn't it? No. So I've crushed up my walnuts. I know I talk about this thing every time that we use it, but this thing is awesome. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, this is just something that Tim's mom got us like a while back from Amazon, but it's so great. It makes everything so easy. So we're going to do something a little weird and a little crazy. One of you guys sent us some chocolate. A galaxy bar. I don't know, are you okay? Are you fake coughing again? I'm looking at you. Yeah? Hello. What does that little buddy need? He's like, I want banana bread, mom. Not yet. Um, so... One of you guys sent us this. We've been doing the live mail vlog, so you may have seen us open this package, but sorry, battery died. I, I'm very long-winded, so I gotta stop doing that. But these, um, some of you guys mailed us some chocolates. It's a Galaxy Bar from the UK. You personalized it for us, which is so cool. And so what I thought is, let's cut this up. <laughs> let's cut this up into smaller pieces and use this instead of the chocolate morsels. I love it. Now, those are semi-sweet. This is milk chocolate. Does that matter? Yes, but what? it's just a different flavor, but it'll still be good. Okay, but it's not going to like cook differently or? No, it, the, yeah, eh, no. Will it? It'll melt, but it'd be suspended in there, so it'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, as long so as they're not too big, like no, if the no. chunks are too big, then then it'll be hard. But I'm gonna just imagine if you're putting the Reese's in there, those are milk chocolate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good call. So I'm gonna cut some of this up into some smaller pieces and then we will be right back. Did I show you guys that I blended up all that stuff? This is the banana, the egg, the sugars, all those things blended together. And then I have a feeling we're gonna mix that with this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you have, uh, your feeling is right. So can I do that while you're cutting up the chocolate? Um, hold on, let me, let me double check because I didn't read the full, you know we didn't read the full recipe, so I have no idea what's uh, next. I didn't even look at the recipe. <laughs> no, I believe Sally. She's good. So now we're going to whisk together the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. I already did that. Hold on. Now we're going to pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and stir until just combined. The batter will be very thick, and then we'll fold in the chocolate chips and the nuts. Okay. So yeah, you can mix them together. All right. So here's our batter in its current state after the dry ingredients have been mixed with the wet ingredients, but we have not added in our nuts or our chocolate yet. Look at this chocolate. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Delish. And our nuts. Buddy. You Dude, love this fake me? cough. It's so funny. You guys were telling us that he's doing this. He's doing this for. <laughs> you guys were saying that he was doing this to get our attention. Because once he realizes that we respond to it, yeah. Once you realize that we respond to it, you're just gonna fake cough all the time. Maybe he yeah. thinks that that's a, like a word. It's not. He's like, <coughs> mom, <coughs> mom. <coughs> Are you? Is that what it is? Maybe. Is that so funny? All right, so we're gonna. Put the chocolate, should I do all those little pieces too? Yeah, oh yeah, that'll be good stuff. Okay, so now you got Folding in the chocolate. So why does it, it says to fold it in but not work it too much. Yeah, you can't overwork the dough and then it gets chewy. Oh, chewy, okay, I was wondering like what happens. So now, should I pour in the nuts? Adding in the nuts. Oh, this is mm. gonna be interesting. I think it's gonna be really good. And then we top it with Nutella, so it's gonna be really, really good. So now we are adding our batter to our prepared loaf pan, and then we have to add our Nutella to the top, which is gonna be the very best part. 
Yum. It actually smells really good. Yeah, it does. It's said to do it in a line. Does that mean like three, li three dollop lines? Three dots across, like an ellipses across okay. the top. I getcha. This seems like kind of a lot of Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think it's just going to, because our pan isn't very big, so I think it's just going to be, right? Kind of like that. Okay, and then just kind of swirl it like this. Yeah. But you need to like, yeah, there you go. Probably good enough. Okay, and then just move on to the next one? Yeah. All right. I, I don't see how this is. Her picture was, was very, I don't know. It's hard to tell how she did it, to be honest. All right, let me get in there. <laughs> I want to try something. Okay. And I figured I wanted to do something like this. Yeah, do you remember those cakes from like um, Heinz, Duncan Heinz, that used to do this? Mm hmm Oh, do you want to bake? Is that what it is? You're like, Dad, I want to bake the banana bread too. No. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that beautiful banana bread. Okay, yeah. And now good. we're gonna put it in the oven for 50 minutes. Five zero, 50? Five zero at 350 degrees. That was a long time. Well, sorry. That's banana bread, baby. <laughs> okay, I just took it out of the oven. It still had two minutes left, but it looks awfully done. So I'm gonna poke a little, uh, you know, a toothpick in it and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so it wasn't quite ready. But I wanted to show you this little baby. <gasps> Is he trying sweet potato for some? Yeah. Well, not for the, I almost said for the first time. It's not for the first time, but what do you think? <laughs> He's got like sweet potato teeth. <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Is that how much you love it? It's going to spit it all out. It's going to spit all of it out. All right. You want one of those? Yeah. Grab it. Grab it for yourself. That's the whole point of this. Pretty close. And sort of the way that it is, is like he, at this point in this process, he is not really getting full bites of it. He's just kind of like putting it in his mouth and then spitting it out. But there is some in his mouth, so he is swallowing some of it. Right, and this is more so just he can kind of learn how his mouth works. <laughs> what do you think, little stinky boy? Yeah, not a fan? Okay. At least you tried. He got something just then. <laughs> I wanted to show the final outcome of the banana bread. It looks awesome. It looks so good, you guys. I cannot wait to eat this. Yeah. And then you're making, ooh, that's yummy, pulled it, pork. It doesn't look very good, but it always turns out really good. But yeah. it doesn't look good to begin with. But I'm um, pickling some radishes. Mm. I am breaking up my pulled pork. I have to make a slaw. I'm gonna have some guacamole. Scallions, of course. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you guys more of this in just a second. But for right now, I feel like this is gonna be pretty delicious. I also feel like we've made this before. I think we made something similar to it. Like I have deja vu of this, hmm. which is weird, right? Yeah. Okay, so I am broiling my pulled pork. It has some taco seasoning on it. It smells delicious. I've got my radishes pickling. I am toasting up my, or like crisping up my tortillas. And my slaw is marinating getting ready over here and then soon we will have these delicious pulled pork carnitas soft tacos so yeah almost there i'm sorry i'm not very good at like filming while i cook anymore i need another set of hands and i just i don't have that right now so because tim is taking care of the baby and i'm doing this so <laughs> it's hard to do with only two hands okay that pulled pork actually looks pretty delicious my tortillas are looking pretty dang delicious we're almost ready for dinner. How's that baby doing? Good. I've been searching for the longest time to find this song so that I could play it for you. Oh, did you find and it? I finally found it. He was like humming me a song earlier and he was like, hmm, and I'm like, I couldn't tell you. This song. It's that one vine, or I don't know if it's a vine, I guess it's a TikTok, a TikTok yeah. of those people that are like. It's called Think About Things. Yeah. Uh-oh. You're making me burn my tortillas. I caught it to burn my tortilla. <laughs> Here are the finished tacos. I'm gonna feed the baby really quick while you eat your dinner. And then, <laughs> how's this baby doing? Well, the squirrels have officially eaten all of our bird food. There is one bird in there trying to like peck away at what's left. You think the squirrels are gonna try to come after us or something? Cause there's no more, no more bird food. Oh, oh, he's still going for it though. He's looking for more. More to the point, those tacos were so darn good. 
I'm always surprised how good the pork is that comes in the Martha and Marley spoon boxes because the pulled pork is like it's already pre-cooked and it's very strange looking when it comes. It's like a white, like, I mean, pork is white. It's the other white meat. But like, it's just, it's a strange looking color and it's a weird consistency, but then when you cook it up and put the flavoring in it, whew, delicious. Okay, so Tim is putting the baby to sleep and I am eating my dinner. I'm just on, I'm eating my last taco. These are really good. I feel like this is something that I would for sure make again. A lot of these recipes have slaw in them and I really like all of the slaw recipes that they've given us. We've had ranch slaw. We've had this one that's like a, just a normal, like with red wine vinegar type slaw. These pickled radishes I think are my favorite part. Oh, well, and the pork, the pork is delicious. But I think the pickled radishes are so good on these tacos. I love these. But I'll leave the recipe down below because I didn't really show you guys how to make it. So if you want to try to make it, it was fairly easy and it didn't have a whole lot of ingredients. So I'll leave the link to the recipe down below for you. Oh buddy, here it comes. Time to taste the bread. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. That's my new, That's a, instead of a now it's time to pay the price, it's a now it's time to taste the bread. Oh. <laughs> How big of a piece, like this big? Yeah. Okay. You know what, I want both the end, the end and a non-end. Okay. I'm gonna try see. two. Oh yeah, look at that, it looks pretty good. I kind of wish, cause I think that most of the Nutella is just sitting on top and it just got cooked. Well that's the way that it's supposed to be. Oh is it? I thought it was supposed to be like inside too. It seems crunchier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I know, oh. Well done. Um, okay, let's Let's have see. a look at this new. Oh yeah, look at that, it looks good. I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. Yeah. Okay, let me put these on a, on a little plate for you. How ridiculous do you want your banana bread to be? Why, what are you thinking? Are you gonna put some butter on it? I, I wasn't gonna put butter on it. You ever done that? I have, oh, but I so wasn't. Good. Is that, do you wanna put butter on it? Maybe, I'll put butter on the end one. I was thinking maybe we put. More like, Nutella? Yeah. <laughs> Is that crazy? No. Okay. I, I feel like it's probably healthier than butter. Do you think? Yeah, I mean butter is butter. I mean, I don't think it's healthier than butter. Well, if either one's healthy. Okay, so here's my piece. Okay. It looks pretty delicious. What I think we should really do, maybe we can do it for breakfast in the morning. We cook it up with butter on a, like on a skillet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like. Fry it. Yeah, fry it. Fry it in butter. Yeah. And then we put Nutella on it. Okay. And then we take another piece that we fried and put that on top. Okay. So it's like a banana bread sandwich filled with Nutella. Fried banana bread sandwich. Fried banana bed and Nutella sandwich. <laughs> banana bed. God, no. I feel like, is that how Elvis died? I think that's how somebody's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. But it's um, very unhealthy, but it sounds so good, right? Yeah. I mean, it is quarantine, baby. That's true. Give it a bite. <laughs> okay. Should I do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on, let me. Break wanna, it in half. I wanna take a bite with the Nutella. Okay, here I go. Harry go? <laughs> Definitely crispier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, uh oh. I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't think it needed the peanut butter. What? Yeah, is that weird? No. I think the next time we make this, we don't put the peanut butter in. Okay. I think the peanut butter was in there because it's supposed to have Reese's peanut butter cups in it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now I want to try it because you seem disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I just don't. So, okay. You went and you had donuts at Voodoo Donuts um, a while back when they did the, the run at Universal. Yeah. That was filled with- And we'll with... link that video in the description down below. Oh, I, thought, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it'll be in the description. But that donut, the winning, like when you ran the race, you could buy this donut. Well, even if you didn't run the race, you could you buy this buy donut. You buy a donut. Yeah. <laughs> the center was filled with banana and peanut butter. Like, yeah, it was mashed. so good. I didn't love that. Oh, I love it. I think you're gonna love this because it reminds me of that. Oh, good. I yeah. love that. Hmm. Oh, are you disappointed? No. It's a little bit dry. Mm. What's her name? Susan? Mm -hmm. Sally. Sally? A little dry. We didn't follow her recipe. We added our own stuff, remember? It's we not Sally's fault. We added anything. Well, it's definitely not Sally's fault. We took out the things that were moist. That chocolate in there is real good, though. Was that a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. I like the Nutella on top, too, and I kind of wish that there was Nutella throughout 
rather than just on the top cooked. This is dry. Why is it dry? It's not Wait, supposed to be dry. Because we didn't follow the recipe. There was what? Just chocolate chips? Yeah, those are things that are moist. They melt. They're liquid. In. It's not the same. I wonder if it was because of the ba uh, baking powder. Oh, maybe. Again, not Sally's fault. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Let's blame Needs Sally. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you want to put butter on it? Yeah. Now that the baby's asleep, we have some time to watch a movie. And eat some more banana bread. Heck yeah. <laughs> so we're going to watch Knives Out. Well, that was a, a delight. <laughs> it was a fun movie to watch. It was really fun. We were actually both talking about how we both were spoiled. The ending was spoiled for both of us. Mm -hmm. But you, it, it wasn't... Yeah, throughout it, the movie, you second guess whether you were actually spoiled yeah, or not. Yeah, I was like, well, it can't be that because if you've seen the movie, you know the ending. But I'm like, it can't be that because of the rest of the movie. Right. And if you've watched the movie, you understand the rest of the movie is pointing towards somebody else the entire time. So I'm like, did I really get spoiled or was I like, was, was the video that I watched like wrong? Was it a joke? Right. And then he was spoiled on Twitter and he's like doing the same thing. Was it wrong? It was neat. It was a good movie. I liked it. it I think it I would seemed... have to watch it again too. Oh, for like the... For like the nuances. Yeah. You know? That kind of like told you the like the little Easter eggs that kind of pointed you in the direction of who the real killer was. But I also feel like it was a little bit long. Yeah, it was. Well, we also like the baby. We're trying to get him to soothe himself back to sleep. We're trying to sleep train him. Yeah. And he keeps he keeps waking up. And so he woke up probably like four or five times during the movie, well, so I kept having to pause it. But he keeps doing this thing. Sorry, it's late. But he keeps doing this thing where he just slams his feet down and then he starts rubbing his eyes. And I'm like, what? Like, why? What are yeah. you doing? That's... Just don't, don't rub your eyes and you can fall right back asleep. Yeah, I wish that there was a way that we could get him to not do that. Do any of you guys have kids that, <laughs> like, just constantly rub their eyes? When like... they're tired. Like, yeah. when they are trying to go back to sleep. It's the weirdest thing. He just won't stop rubbing his eyes. And everything that I read was like, you could swaddle him. And I'm like, but I'm trying not to swaddle him right now. We're trying to... Trying to unswaddle him? We're trying to wean him from swaddling. So there's like, we don't know any way to get him to stop doing that. So if you guys have any ideas, um, let us know. Yeah. Because we would be interested to hear them. Yeah. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. Yeah, I had a really good day. Today was good. I liked um, it. The banana bread, it actually grew on me. It was pretty good after my i think i just i don't i don't think i really love banana i think that it's one of those things where banana bread needs to sit for a little bit yeah to like let the oils ooze out so it'll be better tomorrow morning yeah so maybe tomorrow morning we can make that nutella fried that sandwich. thing sounds ridiculous <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna do that no no even a little one <sighs> maybe maybe probably not the first thing in the morning that's true, yeah. That might be a bad idea. Maybe for dessert after dinner tomorrow. Mm, right before bed. Even yeah. better. That's the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. All in all, a fantastic day. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.